Hello crafters, welcome to Creative Home with G and today's video. Today's video is my monthly um, colour card challenge that I do with um, Donna Jackson over at Crafts and More with Donna Jackson. Um, the colours we chose for November are silver, white and red. So I'm doing a 5x7 card. I have a 5x7 mirrored um, card silver insert and then a, I forgot my measurements now, and this is four and a half by six and a half, my second inlay. And I'm going to do some watercolors. Now these are some watercolor pens I got from the works here in the UK. I'm going to use some memento ink, some red ink, art glitter glue. And I'm going to use this stamp set here from my stash. And I'm going to use the Santa and Mrs. Claus. But I need to, I need to stamp them out on my masking paper because I'm going to have them kind of one standing behind the other one and I need to get one masked off so I'm going to stamp them out and then cut them out and then we can move on to the uh, the next stage of the card okay crofter so I have my um, I have my masks all cut out so I just need to take off the backing and those images are actually quite easy to um, to cut out. I just paused the video, continued watching some of the Christmas movie that I was watching, and just um, enjoyed cutting them out. So that's one of my masks. And here's Mrs. Claus. Now one thing I wanted to show you before we go on to the card was depending on which one you stamp first will determine which one is at the forefront and which one goes to the back. So I'm just going to illustrate that with you on camera. And I'm going to stamp out Mrs. Claus. And I'm going to stamp her out first, then I'm going to mask her. So I'm going to stamp out, Just this is just a piece of scrap paper. I mean, if it works out well, I could use it as a card base, as a card front even. So I'm going to stamp out Mrs. Claus. And then I'm going to mask her. And then I'm going to stamp Mr. Claus, or Santa Claus to you and I. And I'm going to stamp him next. So as you as you can as you saw me stamp, I stamped Mrs. Claus first. So let me just remove the mask of Mrs. Claus. And as you can see, because I stamped Mrs. Claus first, she is at the forefront and Santa Claus is at the back. So I'm going to turn this over now and I'm going to stamp Santa first. I know you guys, some of you guys may think, you know, there's no point in doing this, but I do like to do this for every level of um, creativity so please indulge me for a few moments right and now i'm going to mask mr claus or santa claus as he's commonly known there we go and now we are going to stamp his doting wife Now Santa will be at the forefront and the foreground and Mrs. Claus will be in the background. See, there we go. Now I don't like the way his beard covers her face. So I'm going to do that and have the beard um, going behind her. So on my card base, I need to stamp Mrs. Claus first. That's Mr. and Mrs. Claus, and what I'll do is on the back of my acetate for this particular stamp set, I will just put the masks there, and then I can keep it with the stamp set. 
So now it comes to coloring now. I've got my red and I'm going to color Santa's coat in red. And I'm going to colour in Mrs. Claus um, trim in red. So Santa will have a red trim, and Mrs. Claus will have a uh, Santa will have a white trim, and Mrs. Claus will have a red trim. So I've got my watercolour paintbrush. I'm just going to. I think I might do is I might use a bit of silver on Santa's white trim, maybe some silver sp um, sparkles or something like that. And for Mrs. Claus's hair, I'm going to put, using my black watercolour pencil, I'm going to put some black along the top here. And then going back to my watercolour brush. I'm going to brush that. What's that on my paper? Ah, oh, this is weird. Okay, let's give Santa some red on his nose. And some pink. Mrs. Claus some pink slippers. And Santa some black boots. Okay. to make the inside here of Santa red because it looks like this is the inside of his jacket. going to bring over a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to use the um, the solid there's two different types of um, candy cane in this set and I'm going to use a solid one here and I'm going to use my red warm lipstick distress ink and I had a I had a you put it down and it disappears I have one of my small blocks, but it's disappeared on me. Right. Let's do our background now. It's raining candy cane. How many of you now are singing It's Raining Men? Be honest, come on, let me know in the comments. How many of you started singing It's Raining Men? Either now, as I'm saying it, or when I say it's raining candy canes. Come on, be honest now. And you never know, one of you may get a prize. Right, let's do, I'm going to use some, um, I've got this white pearl effect. I was thinking more of a, okay, we were going to use these liquid pearls. I'm going to put some liquid pearl, okay, let's use some of this grey one. 
making sure that it's not clogged up. Keeping with the uh, colour theme, I'm going to use this liquid pearl to add a silver What I need to do I forgot her cuffs crafters Okay, now I'm going to do the rest of Mrs. Claus Okay, let's get our card face put together. Okay, I have to be very careful here because obviously this is still drying. I would have popped this up on dimensional foam tape, but can you believe it, crafters? I've actually run out. I need to get a hold of some. Now I need a little sentiment. Now in this stamp set you get you get uh, for you, peace on earth, Merry Christmas, se seasons greetings from from our home to yours. Oh, I like that one. So let me see what I can do. I've got some scraps. So I always, I always like to keep hold of my scraps. So let's let's um let's stamp that out. Again, using the memento on this scrap piece of card. Seasons greetings from our home to yours. I really like that, but I need that to be slightly thinner. Obviously, use your paper trimmer if you feel more comfortable doing that. Sometimes I just can't be bothered, and I just like to. Do it quickly. Okay, I've got some more. But you know what I think I'm going to because that's that's crooked. And sometimes you're better off doing it the job properly. But sometimes always. Do the job properly, Gareth. That's what you should be doing. Okay. Take some off the top as well. Silver card here. Yep, but I need to just cut this. Let's glue it down on this card, on this uh, mirrored card stock. Excuse my phone crafters, I didn't realise that it wasn't on uh, silent, I apologise. And I think I'll have that up there like that. And again, if I had some dimensional tape I probably would have put this on a bit of dimension. But there we go. And just show you another one that I was working on, thinking about bringing to you. And that's almost like uh, Mrs. Claus peeking through a window. So there's this month's color card combo challenge card. Now the colors for this month are red, silver, and white. The challenge will be pinned to the top of my group on Facebook. Uh, please submit your um, competition entries there and be in with a chance of winning five goodies that I will send out to you. Thank you very much for joining me. And don't forget to head over to Donna's channel and check out her card that will be out today also. And you'll see me again very soon. Take care now, bye bye. Mm -hmm.